Hi guys, happy Sunday. Welcome to Cozying Up with Essie where we do all things DIY, some decor and organization, hauls, thrifts, tips and hacks for your home. My name is Asta and welcome to a little home of simple, cozy and inexpensive ideas. In today's video guys, we'll be making some very easy, simple DIY decor pieces that you can make in the comfort of your home. These are functional and practical pieces. So I'll be showing you some of the things that you can make for your dining table and uh, for your coffee table. I'll also be sharing some organization tips. These are uh, you can use for the closet or the, uh, the space at the back of the door. This can be in the back of the door of your bedroom or just, or just uh, any door in your house. Then I'll also be sharing a very nice organization tip uh, that you can use in your vanity area to organize your rings and earrings as well so let's get started in the uh, with the video and i hope to see it uh, at the end of this video and let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite which was your favorite diy once we finish at uh, the video as well so today's day uh, first day away we are going to be making a planter uh, I'm cutting this bottle so I just want a base and then I'll be using very easy materials as you can see in the supplies I'm using uh, wooden pegs so yeah so we will make uh, we'll just be clipping the wooden pegs so first uh, you need to measure and see whether the the container that you have cut uh, is in good length and then now you can just clip the pegs and then once you have fully clipped the pegs then you can style it with some flowers or you can uh, plant uh, a flower or a plant as well inside there inside the container so this is a very easy way to make a planter and it's beautiful to place in the kitchen countertop you can also place it uh, on your tv stand or uh, on your window wherever you want to uh, to style it So once I finished clipping the pegs, I decided to side it with some fox flowers. Uh, this I can be able to place on my coffee table and it turned out so well. So as you can see, it's a very easy way to make a planter or a flower vase. the second DIY we are making a uh, coaster uh, these coasters we will also be using uh, the wooden pegs as well so the first thing you need to do is to uh, to remove the the spring uh, which is the center part so this is what I'll be doing with you guys I'll show you how I'm doing it and then uh, I'm going to do it faster and then once I am done and uh, we are going to continue the next process So once you are done removing the springs, this is what you get, some wooden parts. So I'm going to take uh, my glue gun and uh, I have already placed it in, uh, plugged it in the electricity. So it has hot glue. So the first thing you need to do is to take two parts. So a peg has two parts. So you're just uh, reversing the two parts. So using two opposite sides so that's what i'll be doing with you guys uh, you can just follow along and see uh, so you just need to place some very minimal glue you don't need so much because it is going to spill so just minimal glue it uh, will give you uh, the desired effect so as you can see i'm just taking two different parts so i'll be using this technique uh, until i have the desired pieces and then you guys will see what i'll do next For my coaster, I want it to be circular, so I already have the 
the parts that I have already glued together so right now I just want to make a shape and see whether I have enough uh, enough of them as you can see I'm just counting so now at this stage now uh, I'll be joining the parts together using the same technique using the glue so when I was joining the peg parts the two peg parts I was joining them uh, on the upper side so now I'm joining uh, these ones as you can see at this position and I'm also using very minimal glue because this is hot glue and you don't want it to spill over so that's what I'm doing so I'll do this uh, it's just a repetitive process until you get the desired shape so I want to get a circle uh, a circular coaster so guys uh, Watch till the end and I hope to see what you make as well and tag me on my social media pages on Causing Up With The Sea uh, on Instagram and Facebook. I would love to see what you come up with as well. The coasters look at uh, this they are so beautiful i love the wooden vibe so you can place uh, cups on them uh, on your dining table or on your coffee table uh, you can also make a bigger coaster by adding more peg pieces and then uh, you can be able to place something like a sufuria uh, or a pan or even something like a plate In this next DIY, we are making a wooden serviette holder. I'm also using uh, the same parts. Uh, so as you had seen before, we joined uh, the pieces. So now I have two parts, two equal parts. Uh, as you can count, I have two, four, six, eight, nine. So nine on each side. So now I'm making the bottom part where the, the these two pieces, uh, these two pieces will be lying. So I'm still using the peg part. So as you can see I want to have a center like I want to leave a, a space in the center so I'm going to use a, I'm, I don't want a big uh, serviette holder I just want a small one because this is for my coffee table so what I'm doing is I've measured and then now I have to join first the parts the bottom parts so I'm just draining the sides of the, the, the wooden pegs as you can see using some hot glue and then I let it dry a bit and then now I'll also drain out the, uh, the the top part so guys just watch and see how I'm going to do that and then style it with some serviettes so this is a very easy way to make a serviette holder it's very easy DIY so these pegs actually guys I bought them at shillings 40 bob yeah that's Kenya shillings 40 bob that's uh like 0 0.4 dollars yeah So now once you let the the bottom part dry now you need uh, to take the hot glue and then now uh, join the other part so that you can have now the full coaster so what I'm doing is I'm going to lay the bottom parts as you can see I'm laying them down uh, across each other and then I'm just uh, placing this uh, upper part and then uh, just uh, getting the best width uh, so that I can position it right and then placing a very minimal glue as well and then uh, holding it together for a few minutes so that uh, the hot glue uh, 
is able to dry and then now uh, the coaster uh, will stick together to, to the bottom part so uh, that's what I'm doing so kind of uh, check this out uh, it's very easy actually and it's budget friendly so you can do this as well You need to position the two parts uh, in a very steady way and uh, make sure that you leave a gap uh, where you're going to be placing the serviettes. Uh, you can also add some more hot glue at the bottom part where you, you get, uh, you're joining the two parts uh, for a more compact uh, for a more compact feeling as you can see i'm just adding a very minimal layer of hot glue on the outside you can also do this on the inside as well so if you do it on the outside then you'll need to sand uh, the surface but if you do it on the inside no one will be able to see it so it will give you a very clean edge So this serviette holder looks amazing and it's budget friendly so you can make uh, multiple of these uh, for you for different areas of your house for your dining table for your coffee table yeah and for the kitchen uh, it's multi-purpose as you can see so you just fold the serviettes in a triangle shape and then you place them uh, on the serviette holder now we will be using the same pegs uh, the same wooden pegs to make uh, some organization hacks so this first one you just need two two items that is uh, you need a, a, a thin a thin hanger and then some few pegs so this one i'll be organizing uh, some of the scarves that i have you can use it to organize other different items even handkerchiefs as well just uh, light items that you can place on the pegs so as you can see i have uh, just clipped the pegs on the hanger and now i'm um, uh, i'm clipping some of the uh, some of the scarves that i have so as you can see it's just it's a very easy organization uh, way and this one you can place on the closet or you can also use it uh, to utilize the the spaces that are at the, at the back of your door so this can be the back of the bedroom door or the back of the closet uh, inside the closet doors so these are very uh, it's another very easy way to organize things like scarves uh, you can also organize some light tops that you maybe you use daily yeah so guys that's a very nice hack For this DIY, I'm showing you uh, how to organize some photos and also you can organize some uh, meal prep, some recipes. Uh, you can also organize yourself, uh, your schedules uh, on, this, uh, uh, on the study table or uh, a photo frame. So this is a very easy way to make a photo frame, a recipe holder, a weekly schedule holder. So as you can see, I just plugged in some photos of me. Uh, over the edges so you can see you can place so many so you can have like uh, five or seven of them uh, in one hanger which means they can uh, plan for a whole week each day with 
uh, single uh, with the single paper so this one you can place sticky notes you can place some uh, daily routine schedules and uh, it's a very easy way to organize and it doesn't take so much space because all, all you need is um, a hanger and some wooden pegs and maybe a somewhere to clip uh, to place the, the hanger so you can place this on the kitchen on the study table or even uh, on your sitting room area wherever you want it to be then uh, the last day we will be making a vanity organizer i'm using wooden skewers and this is a spray paint lid uh, you can use any other container that you have it can you can even use a wooden uh, just a wooden piece so this one i'm using a skewer and then i'm securing the skewer uh, using hot glue uh, so that it can uh, stand on its own so i let the hot glue dry and then i clipped some of the wooden pegs as well as you can see and just placed some of the items that i have so these are my earrings some rings and yeah so guys these are very easy way uh, that you can use uh, to hang your earrings and just organize your vanity area where you can be able to see everything where it is so as you can see i'm able to see where all my earrings are and i'm able to see where my rings are so it's a very nice easy way to organize I hope you enjoyed today's video guys give it give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you have enjoyed our DIY family yet can you hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video if you like DIYs as much as I do can you follow me on Instagram at causing up with se on Facebook at causing up with se and for any business inquiries at causing up with se at gmail.com and I'll get back to you as soon as I can Cheers guys, have a lovely week and see you in the next one.